It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. You're watching 2K Sports, but you know that already. Our game tonight featuring the New York Knicks as they go up against the Indiana Pacers at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Taking a look at the Pacers, they haven't competed at the level they'd like over the last week or so. Just one win in five games. And tonight, we get to see DeAndre Jordan. Kenny's come a long way since being drafted in the second round back in 08. Man, I can't believe he's been in the league over a decade. That's amazing. Either you're getting old or he's oh, getting old. I'm not old. getting old. I'm not aging at all. One of you guys are getting old. But he went from a project to an NBA All-Star. Excellent defender. Excellent rebounder. Most of his points come within five feet of the basket. Drafted in the second round. But guess what? Kenny's got the 200 million. <laughs> wow. Thanks for joining us. The Pacers look to take charge. We're going to bring it to you here from Indianapolis, Indiana. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. The Knicks will end their road trip here before heading back to New York. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline in our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A. Well, guys, we've heard the term unicorn given to rare players with great height and perimeter skills like Kristaps Porzingis, Carl Anthony Towns, Joel Embiid, and the Greek Freak. But with ever more big men adapting to today's perimeter-oriented game, unicorns might not be so rare after all. Kevin, we need a new name. Amazing to think. D.A., thanks. Well, we're around the halfway point now, Doris. Some clubs are obviously in a rebuild mode, but it can be hard for many team owners to accept that and accept that path they're on. Well, when you've been the guy to make that financial investment, there can be a little bit of impatience mm -hmm. because one of your responsibilities is keep people in the seats. You've got to pay the bills. What you have to do is you make clear to the fans the vision that they have. If you make it clear, Kev, maybe they can sort of embrace the rebuild and celebrate the step-by-step -step progress. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. We've got Matthews. Von Lay's out there with Lance Thomas. Then it's Jordan, and it's Smith in at the point guard. Now here's Von Lay. Back to Smith from the arc. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. And there's the foul. It goes on Wesley Matthews. That is his first foul of the game. Feeds it to Evans. Outside Collison. Out to Turner. Clock at four. Unloads. And there's the pass to Bogdanovich. Pass to Sabonis. Over Smith. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Sabonis has got the opening basket of the game for Indiana. This guy's a skilled interior scorer. There's height, there's great shot selection. Sabonis doing work right now. Smith kicks to Vonley. Back to Smith. Goes up from the top of the key. Good, he hits the jump shot. And I like seeing that Smith Jr. has a strong sense for when to shoot the mid-range. Pass to Evans. Shoots over Matthews. And Evans gets it to go on the assist by Collison. Here's Smith. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Hornets in Charlotte. Passes it to Jordan. Outside Thomas, the pass to Matthews. 
Here's Von Lay. Got a piece of it. Improving on the defensive end as well. DeMontis Sabonis getting tenacious there with the block shot. Collison kicks to Evans. Pass to Sabonis. Count it. Sabonis has got his second bucket. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Well, you simply got to push through that, right? You need to at least contest the shot. Otherwise, he's going to knock it down. Now, here is Smith. Scoring-wise, he's definitely making his mark. Right now, he's averaging about 19 points a game. Matthews, no good. Pacers leading by four. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Tyreek Evans, not the biggest Jones. free agent this past offseason, but Greg, many teams yep. vied for his services. Pacers were able to win out, and, and he should be a good fit. Can act as another playmaker and ball handler for the team. Turned down playing with the Warriors, Lakers, and Thunder to come to this Indiana squad. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Doris, you were the first female commentator to ever call a Knicks game on radio or television, and I imagine you remember that first broadcast very well. I sure do, Kevin. It was against the Bucks. I filled in for the great Clyde Frazier, and the Knicks had just made it to the finals the year before. So it was exciting on a number of levels. And both free throws, good for Tyreek Evans. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Knicks. They trail by six. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. And when things started to go wrong for him in that game, boy, did they ever go wrong. They just could never get back on track in that game. Stretches where they strung some good plays together, but then long stretches where nothing worked, no consistency. And so it's Indiana with it, following the score by New York. Evans finds Turner. Releases from 15. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Pass to Bonley. Now here's Jordan. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Outside Collison. Passes it to Sabonis. Over Vonley. Misses off the left iron. Knicks trail by six. Here's Hazania. And it's off from three-point range. Collison deciding where to go with it. There's the pass to Sabonis. Back to Collison. Shot clock at six. Turner passes to Bogdanovich. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. And, and let's check out some stats. Here are the numbers for Bogdanovich. He's putting up 13 points a game, four rebounds, and two assists. And this is the kind of strong, steady play you like to see. He's earning his keep and helping them win games. I think they need more consistency from him, and they're getting it. Look for this to continue. I love it. Jordan kicks to Hazania, and Vonley has it in the corner. The shot misses. Good work defensively by Turner. Indiana leading by six. Outside Bogdanovich. Thomas with the block. In the corner, Smith with it. Bangs home the trifecta. Smith's got five. An average shooter from deep. It's clear Smith Jr. has the touch and focus. Just needs to be more consistent. Now here's Turner. He's coming off a 10-point game against Philadelphia. And we have to mention his rebound. It wasn't all about the offense. He battled his tail off down low. 
and it's Smith missing. His high percentage shot right at the rim, and he's wondering what happened. And it's Evans missing. Boy, that's high impact defense in the lane, standing tall to deny the easy bucket. Thomas against Bogdanovich. Knocks it loose. Sabonis with the steal. Here's Evans. 20 points for him last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. You know, he was also one of their key contributors on the glass. Uh, his effort was terrific. And it's Noah Vonley with the foul. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Pacers. Thaddeus Young, he's checked in for Sabonis. Doug McDermott comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Joseph in for Darren Collison. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Neil Aquinas checked in. These players have been vacuums on the boards recently, leading the league in rebounding the past month. DeAndre Jordan, number one. He must be spending a lot of time in the weight room because he's shown such strength under the basket. And Young kicks to Evans. Indiana moving it around. Here's McDermott out to Turner. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. And a chance here to look at the numbers for Jordan. First in rebounding. And of course, rim protection always at a premium. That's an important part of his game. Top 20 in blocks per. And just going back real quick to the fact that he's tops in the league in rebounds. What a tremendous feat. What a monster he is in the paint. High arcing shot. And Azania gets it to go. I'll tell you, that's a graceful finish. Not just any old layup. The teardrop. Evans outside. A floater, and the layup is up and in. Evans has got six. And how about the efficiency Evans has shown in the paint? Once he's got his position, he's looking to score. Now here's Jordan. 20 points for him last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. Yeah, but I like how he defended as well. You know, he got a couple blocks in that game and just an all-around great effort. Five to shoot. Here's Hazania. That one a little long. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Here's McDermott. Banked in off the glass. And it's a five-point Indiana lead. Nate McMillan, Doris, a longtime coach in the NBA, has done his part in this Indiana Pacers rebuild. I think the first thing that Nate had to handle was the turmoil of the team after the Paul George deal, right? So he empowers a young core, and he deserves a ton of credit in the surprisingly good season the Pacers had. Now Young, following the three-point attempt by Dennis Smith. A really good rebound in traffic. That's what the big fella's there for. Hazonia with the ball. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Bobbed up there for Thomas, and then Thomas with the dunk. And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play, sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. Now here's McDermott. Jordan with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. That'll go on McDermott. That is his first foul of the game. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Miles Turner. And a switcher also for New York. Burks is checked in. And so here is New York. It's a three-point game. Hezonia finds Jordan. They shoot again and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Hezonia's got his third basket of the night. The Pacers have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. O'Quinn, the pass to McDermott. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to go on Trey Burke. Well, Doug McDermott has bounced around since entering the league. 
He's been productive everywhere he's played to a certain extent, but he's looking to find that long-term home. Two shots. And he makes the first. And with all the bouncing around, it's been hard for McDermott to get settled. Right. We know this about Doug McDermott. The guy's a strong outside shooter, and that shooting should always find him in the rotation. This guy has got to grow as an all-around scorer. And McDermott drops them both. I think I like the skill set of Doug McDermott. He's a phenomenal shooter, and he's got tremendous range. Now, here's Burke. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. And there's a whistle that goes on Corey Joseph. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. And so here is New York. They trail by three. Pass to Burke for the three. Hits the three-point foul. Burke's got his first three points of the game. An active passer with good awareness. When Neil Aquina spots the open teammate, he gets it to him. It's stolen. And a fast break now for New York. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, and he was so quick to break on that one. A good sign that he read the play. Shot clock at six. And it's Evans missing. New York's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. And the call will be against Thaddeus Young. That's his first foul. The Pacers making a change here. Leafs checked in. And a switch here also for New York. Ron Baker, he's checked in for Mario Hazonia. There's 154 left here in the first quarter. New York moving the ball around. Six on the shot clock. Here's Neela Kina. And it comes off the front of the rim. Indiana trailing here. Here's Joseph. Neela Kina with the rebound. The Knicks shooting at around 44% in the early goings here. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Joseph looking around. He kicks it to O'Quinn. Shot to stop the run. The Knicks pull it in. Last time they met in New York. Yeah, and they really squeaked out a close one in that last matchup. Came down to just a few turnovers that gave them the margin of victory. Now here's Evans. Six points for him. Here's the three. Knocks down the three ball. Evans has got nine. And watching Evans there knock down the triple has the ability to be a dangerous outside scorer when he's in rhythm. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Baker. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. And to me, that's all about the body control, right, Greg? I mean, he does such a stellar job sizing up his man and drains it despite having the size on him. Here's Evans. No good that time. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. New York ahead. They're up by three. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Indianapolis. No. 
Free throws have been a struggle for DeAndre Jordan. He was asked if he'd ever consider shooting them underhanded like some have done in the past. I haven't, I've never tried it. I've never secretly tried it in practice or anything like that. I think I'm gonna try to shoot it regular for a while. And uh, if that's my last resort, then, then so be it. You know, he's made some progress with his unusual method, though. Yeah, him, Drummond, Capella, a lot of the guys who were getting the hack-a-shack treatment have made great strides. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Just playing suffocating defense. That's been the difference here for them. Well, the commitment is evident, and they are simply phenomenal at their aggression on the defensive end right now. And New York, looking at who they've got. Baker out there with Trey Burke. Then it's Matthews. Then there's Von Ley. And it's Jordan in at the center, filling out the middle. And here's Bogdanovich following the three from Noah Vonley. Now Joseph still looking for his first bucket in this one. Basket counts. Well, you just need to have a high level of basketball IQ in the pick and roll. Corey Joseph, step to the mic, sir. Well, a big strength of this Indiana team is how well they take care of their possessions. They were right near the top of the league, Kevin, in terms of the fewest turnover committed. And this whole team, to me, seems to play with a level of calmness and good decision-making. And let's give Nate McMillan some credit for that. And that one's good. Burke. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And Joseph kicks to O'Quinn. Down low, Ogdanovich, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Now, here's Burke. Defense is right there. And it's off the back rim, no good. And so it's Joseph with it. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Well, no hesitation from Bogdanovich in the catch-and-shoot situation. Beautiful. Now, here's Burke. He has five. Kicks it to Vonley. Back to Burke. Puts it up. A shot missing. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Well, Doug McDermott, a high IQ basketball player, understands when his teammates are open how to find them. Here's Baker. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Here's Matthews. Here's Baker. And again, it's the Knicks missing. And Joseph kicks to Bogdanovich. Back to Joseph. Pass to Bogdanovich. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And for the most part, when Bogdanovich is out on the floor, he's there to do one thing, <laughs> shoot. And I tell you what, when you can shoot like that, that's all you need to do. Great catch-and-shoot player who can stretch the defense. You cannot leave him alone. And really, his presence frees up so much for his teammates on the floor. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Bogdanovich. A lot of responsibility, Doris, and being the focal point of an offense. What characteristics have you seen are shared among NBA players who carry the load offensively for their teams every game? Right. This is a great separation point to me in the NBA because there are a lot of outstanding players at the level on any given night in the NBA. 
But Kevin, there is a select few players who are willing to share the lion's share of the responsibility. Men like Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook. Like you have to be prepared 82 times per year to step between the lines, shoulder the load, and sometimes when you underperform, to bear the criticism that comes with that responsibility. And Kevin, you know this. That's a select few player who's willing to absorb that. Good thoughts. Now here's Matthews following the miss by Miles Turner. Moutier with the basket. Boy, Moutier, tough shot through contact. That is nice. Collison, the pass to Leaf. Passes to Sabonis. Trains it from 17 feet out. Sabonis has got six. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. There's the pass to Vonley. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Here's Baker. He's covered by Bogdanovich. That's in, and the Pacer lead is cut to just one on the basket from Baker. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Collison finds Bogdanovich. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Young's checked in for Leaf. And a switcher also for New York. Hazania, he's checked in for Ron What's Baker. Shot, One big problem for the Knicks last season, Doris, the offense was okay, but the defense let them down. Right, and the one area that was a strength was shot blocking, but a good defense requires far more than that. It requires quickness, it requires on-point rotations. Their defensive rating ended up being in the bottom 10 last year, Kevin. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. The drive by Collison. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Collison's got his second bucket. It really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. And here's Vonley. He's coming off a 13-point game against Charlotte. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pacers will take it. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. You look at Indiana. They're way down there in the conference standings, looking for a lot of improvement during the second half of the season. And, of course, the Knicks, two and a half games back. And I think for the Knicks, their season has been exactly the kind of misadventure their fans were afraid it might be. And with the major changes we know are coming, now you have players fighting for their jobs, trying to prove they deserve to be here beyond the end of this season. Knicks trail by four. To the middle. Moutier dishes to Jordan. From past the arc, Hazania's shot is off. And so Collison will bring it up for Indiana, coming off that loss against Philadelphia. And they had a ton of missed opportunities at the foul line. That's always a game changer. I think it's impossible for fans to understand why you can't shoot a higher percentage when there's no defense on you, right? Quality free throw shooting so crucial to winning. Now here's Matthews. Thaddeus Young missing his last shot. Hazonia on the wing. Down low, here's Jordan, and it's sent back by Turner. I tell you, you love the attitude of Miles Turner. No one is getting off these shots when he's nearby. No one. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Matthews. New York, no good that time either. Indiana leading by four. Young with no one around. And the shot no good, a bit short. 
Young against Matthews. They get a hand on it. Outside Jordan. Here's Hazania. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. Collison with it. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. It's Herzonia in the corner. And he's good on the three ball. Hazania's got 11 points. You can see the improving court awareness of Emmanuel Moutier having an understanding for when to find his guys. Here's Turner. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. Clearly a foul. And when you see Miles Turner play on the offensive side of the ball, the amount of skill he has at his age is just amazing. Yeah, already a great pick-and-pop player. You know, not going to be much of a banger down low, but has enough touch outside where he won't need to be. But while he's still a, a work in progress oh, offensively, I break. think he's shown Two that shots. he has a very high ceiling in terms of his skill set. And he can't get the first one. Well, to me, this franchise has got to be thrilled and excited about the upside Miles Turner has. He's a hard-nosed player who wants to be great, Kevin. The Pacers making a switch here. Evans is checked in. Then for the Knicks, Thomas checked in for Jordan. Frank Neely Kina comes in for Wesley Matthews. And Smith subbed in for Emmanuel Moutier. He hits the second from the line. See, I love the way Miles Turner plays on both ends of the floor. I know his numbers don't necessarily jump out of the page for you. This guy is so disruptive, though, guarding the paint for his team. And how about the execution on that play? The screen was set up in exactly the right spot. And the finish wasn't too bad either. <laughs> Just great timing on that play, too, guys. Makes it impossible for the defense to react. Here's a bonus following the score by New York. Down to five on the shot clock. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And for Turner, he has shown he is one of the better shot blockers in the NBA. Well, Kev, he's got incredible wingspan that seems to let him get to everything. He's got incredible timing when drivers are coming into the paint. I think the more minutes this guy gets, the more of a chance he has to lead the league in blocks. Two shots. The first one falls. Of course, at times out there, things get a little heated. Some people feel like the whistle's being blown too quickly on some of these technical fouls. What do you think? I would actually completely disagree, oh. Kevin. I think there are certain players who are given far too much latitude and others for whom the whistle does come too quickly. So I think it would be better and more helpful to the officials, the teams, and also the fans to understand what is and what does cross a line. Because to me, there's no consistency. There's a lot of confusion. Uh, and I think it works both ways. Sometimes too long of a leash, sometimes too short. Excellent appraisal. Here's Nilakina. And the foul on Miles Turner. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Here's Azania shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's on Thaddeus Young. Once considered a huge bust, Mario Hezonia has started to come alive and find his place in the NBA. Let's remember, this is a man who got his rookie option declined and had to make the most of some chances and showed he still has upside last season. This guy was thought to be on the verge of leaving the NBA, but is starting to come around. He misses the free throw.
And he's good on the second. How about the Indiana Pacers last year? There were so many that predicted them to be a lottery candidate, and instead they end up with 48 wins, finish as the fifth seed in the East. Woo-hoo, what a year. They get it back on the wing, Evans. Clock at six. It's good for his fourth bucket of the night. He's shooting four of eight. And Doris, the Pacers were one of last season's biggest surprises. How about they took LeBron and the Cleveland Cavaliers to a game seven in the first round? That's the first time a team has ever taken LeBron to game seven in the opening round of the playoffs. Yes, they lost, but what a great learning experience for a young team. And slam dunk by Sabonis. I'll tell you, DeMontis Sabonis has got some big time athleticism. That's a pretty dunk. Smith kicks to Hazonia. Outside Thomas. Back to Hazonia. And Young comes over to help. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's Indiana with it. And it's Evans with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Three-point lead. The dish to Turner. Sabonis against Thomas. Evans outside. No good on the three. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And last season, LeBron said that the Knicks made a mistake passing on Dennis Smith Jr. in the draft. Of course, they took Frank Nielakina out of France. Yeah, a little shade thrown Nielakina's way last season. Of course, he's one of the youngest players in that draft. And so plenty of time for this young man to fulfill his potential. And he makes the first. Doris, when you look at Frank Nielakina, the first thing that might strike you is how long his arms really are. Right, that wingspan in the seven foot one inch mark. And I'll tell you what you like is that Nielakina really knows how to use that length to his advantage on the defensive end. Looking at who's out there now for the Pacers. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Miles Turner. McDermott comes in for Demonis Sabonis. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Darren Collison. And the size, quickness, and defense of Neil Aquina reminds some of a young Sean Livingston, a unique point guard with a promising future. Here's Evans. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. That's good from Evans. 119 left in the second quarter. Joseph against Smith. He dishes it to Vonley. Some nice passing by New York here. Floats one, just five on the clock. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Vonley's got six. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Joseph, the pass to McDermott. Stolen by Thomas. Here we go, one on one. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Eight points for Noah Vonley. Indiana's gone one of two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Joseph finds Young. 
Joseph against Smith. Now here's Joseph. He's covered closely. Here's Nilakina, covered by Evans. And there's another one for the Knicks. And ball movement is important to any club. Nila Kina making it a priority to share it with his guys. From deep. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson alongside the Jet. That's Kenny Smith. The Diesel. That's Shaquille O'Neal. A lot of big-time action so far in this one. For the Knicks, the first quarter was pretty even. The game was always within a fairly narrow margin, with their largest deficit of the period being six. The second quarter was dead even in terms of their scoring output from both teams, and they still find themselves in a good position at the half. Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, first and foremost, you gotta take care of the basketball, and that means playing with poise, making good decisions, and not giving away any possessions. They did a great job of that in the first half. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Indiana? Well, I love that they were forceful of their offensive end. They got the shots they wanted. They played aggressively and got to the line. A strong attacking mindset. I like it. We'll see if they bring the same attitude in the second half, though. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. A flyover of downtown gives you a great perspective of our location as we welcome you back to Indianapolis. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Pacers trail by three, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. And so in the game for the Pacers, Sabonis and Turner inside. Evans out there with Collison, and it's Bogdanovich in at the three spot. It's hauled in by Thomas. And it's not easy to get those stops at the rim, but he does a great job with it. Yeah, he can make it look simple on the interior when it's really not. He knew exactly how to guard on the inside. Now, here's Thomas. Just five to shoot from 12 feet out. That misses off the backboard. And it's Evans with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Mix with the rebound. Bonley's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Matthews, and Matthews throws it down. Oh, tremendous athleticism from Matthews. Boy, when he's close to the rim, he goes for the slam. Evans feeling it out a bit. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Back to Sabonis. And Turner kicks to Bogdanovich. Let's it go from deep. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Boy, they're slow coming out of halftime. Just 0 for 3 to start this half. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Sabonis, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Sabonis has got 12. That's a nice play. You have to read and react in an instant to have success on the offensive glass. And Thomas, here we go. Smith on the wing. He's covered by Collison. Collison against Smith. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Smith's got the lead back up to five now for the Knicks. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Evans. It's rebounded by New York. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. 
Smith dishes to Vonley. Fires the three. That one, no good. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Collison, the pass to Sabonis. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. Don't you just love watching DeMontis Sabonis get to his spots? This guy's so creative on the timeout, offensive timeout. end. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. You know, when you think of Darren Collison, uh, I think of a smart point guard. It had two seasons playing understudy to Chris Paul in both New Orleans and L.A. Similar type of players who are very efficient and just gets the job done. For the Knicks, Jordan, he's checked in for Mario Hezonia. Ron Baker comes in for Thomas. And it's Burke in for Smith. Here's Baker. Now here's Burke. Outside Matthews. And Vonley has it in the corner. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And with Collison and Greg how he plays, when he's off the floor, you notice. I mean, things just don't seem to run as smoothly when he's not at the helm. Finds that balance between creating for himself and others, selective with his shots, and truly a complete guard, even if he doesn't do a lot of those flashy things. Mind the lane. Leaf checked in Mind for Indiana. Lane. One shot. throw good Vonley a little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third knocked away here's Baker he's covered by Bogdanovich over to the wing lays it in off a pretty alley-oop oh my Goodness, Sa save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Pacers trail by eight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Outside Collison. The 15-footer. Good. Collison's got six. I'll tell you, he's really capable of doing some damage from that spot. Darren Collison, you've got to guard him or you will pay a price. Burke finds Matthews. Jordan trying to free himself up, and Matthews gets it to go in on the assist by Burke. And really the story of the half, one team shooting it lights out, the other, the lights are just out. Yeah, that's right. You said it. They don't find a way to switch it back on. They're in trouble. Here's Leaf. From deep, Evans. Burke grabs the miss. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Last break, here comes Indiana. Collison's got the ball. Count the basket. Collison's got four this quarter. Well, a solid defender. You love seeing Collison take risks on the defensive end and come up with these steals. Baker kicks to Jordan. And Vonley has it in the corner. To the middle, here's Baker. Count it. Baker's got the lead up to nine now for the Knicks. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Alvon Lay, 11 points in the game. Here's Baker. Back to Vonley. Four on the shot clock. Here's Matthews. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Let's see the stat sheet here on Wesley Matthews. How's the last month of basketball been for him? Averaging nine points per game, two assists, and two rebounds. And those numbers, solid, not spectacular. And sometimes what you see is what you get. There's no doubt. This is a guy who understands his role, knows he's got to give you quality minutes, and that's what they expect from him. Here's a bonus again, Indiana. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. The Knicks leading by five. And here is Burke. Five points in the game. 
Pass to Vonley. Over Sabonis. The shot by Vonley no good. Well, they know not to leave him open from mid-range, and they're all over him on that shot. Great job on the glass. Bodies down low, needing to fight for position. That's perfect. Now, here's Burke. Matthews passes to Burke. Fires high post and misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, yeah, I mean, you want to give your offense a chance, and that possession didn't do it. Not, not at all, Greg. I mean, no reason for him to be taking these kinds of shots. He has only himself to blame. And so here is New York. The Pacers making the shot. Outside Matthews. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Boy, what a tough night. Imagine what their lead would be if he were having a better night from the field. Now, here's Bogdanovich. He's got 10. Back to Evans. That's tipped. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. Gentlemen, if ever there was a market that is aching for a competitive team, it is New York. The last time the Knicks saw the playoffs, 2013. Boy, does that feel like an eternity ago. The Knicks making a switch here. Boudier has checked in. Well, well, he's given himself a chance. Six shots he's gotten up this quarter, but only able to convert on one of them. Now, here's Burke, defended by Sabonis. On lay, kicks to Jordan. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. Jordan's got four this quarter. You know, they work the ball into ideal position there to get the high-quality look. Bogdanovich looking around. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Pass to Jordan. Back to Moutier. Back to Jordan. New York needs to get off a shot. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. Evans kicks to Collison. On the wing, Evans. For the lead. And it's Collison that time on the assist by Evans. And that's 11 points for Darren Collison. Well, you've got to look at this guy's shooting as one of the main reasons they've been able to build this lead. Passes it to Moutier. And they pick up two. Moutier's got it all tied up now for New York. Boy, when Emmanuel Moutier is making these kinds of tough shots, that can only help his confidence. That's nice. Collison finds Evan over Moutier. And he overshot that one, missing. Well, they've been playing some tough defense on him in this period, and it's starting to affect him. This guy's having trouble finding the target right now. Now, here's Moutier. He's got six. Now the pass to Vonley. New York moving the ball around. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. And that's what Jordan does best. An extremely lethal dunker. And DeAndre Jordan, the all-time leader in career field goal percentage, Greg, by a sizable margin. Yeah, the most prolific dunker in the league, maybe in league history. Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Kyle O'Quinn, he's checked in for Sabonis. Young comes in for T.J. Leaf. Doug McDermott, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Darren Collison. One shot. Jordan no good on the free throw. And this spot has always been Jordan's biggest drawback. Uh, he's never been able to make his free throws at, at even a modest rate, and teams are never afraid to put him on the line. And it's Hazania with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Joseph, currently averaging almost six points a game. 
Well, you love to see Emmanuel Moutier put that kind of effort into the defensive end of the floor. Love it. Thomas dishes to Moutier. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So Indiana will take it the other way. Evans passes to Young, and the basket is good. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Neely Kina kicks to Jordan. And Tyreek Evans is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. One forty-three left in the third quarter. And now, here's Hizonia. Tight defense on him. Ill-advised pass on that one, guys. I mean, he had to know there was a man there in position to get that turnover. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. One twenty nine left here in the third quarter. Moutier with the ball. He has six. He kicks to Jordan. Pass to Nilekina. Banked in off the glass. Nilekina's got eight. A, a cunning ball handler. Gotta like seeing Nilekina mix it up and create for himself. Joseph finds McDermott. 54 seconds left in the third quarter. O'Quinn, the pass to Young. Evans outside. Six to shoot. Lays it up and banks it in. Evans has got 21 in the game. And how about the confidence from Evans? He's feeling like no one can stop him playing with a ton of heart. Here's Nilakina. Eight points for him. Thomas picks to Moutier. And now, here's Hazonia. He's guarded close. Shoots. And the rejection by Evans. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Pass to Joseph. Over Moutier. And the miss. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Pacers lead by three. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And let's listen in on what Nate McMillan had to say to his team. Defensively, we got to keep these guys in front of us shooting contested two. All right, play defense without fouling, and they get one shot. Being aggressive, GA, without fouling. That's a good message, and that's what Coach McMillan wants. Uh, the worst thing you can do is bail a team out. It's important that they just lock down here defensively. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. Moutier and Neely Kina That's are the good. guards handed. Jordan is out there with Lance Thomas. And it's Hezonia in at the small forward position. And New York making a change here. Smith has checked in. One shot, gentlemen. And that one falls for Nilakina. 
And so it's Joseph with it. He'll bring it up for Indiana. Shot clock at five. Up top, O'Quinn. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Next call. Here's a chance now to check out the New York Knicks upcoming schedule. On Monday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. And then on Wednesday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best. But if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force them to the line. Taking two shots. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And that one misses. That's off as well. So he misses both. There is something interesting about Kyle O'Quinn. He's widely considered one of the funniest players in the NBA. And that sense of humor, I think, can unite a locker room. It's led to some crazy interactions with celebrities and spawned some great pranks. But you love to have positive energy. It makes for a very good teammate. Here's Smith, Thaddeus Young, picking up that last basket. So they take the lead. And that's 12 points for Smith. A, a solid shooter. Smith Jr. has the touch and poise to bury those shots on a consistent basis. Oh, Quinn dishes to Evans. And there's the foul. It'll go on Frank Nilikina. And that'll be his third foul so far. Joseph against Smith. They double him with Jordan. Lock at six. The second half has it gone nearly as well for him. He'd only had one before the break in terms of turnovers, but that number's growing as this game progresses. And it's Evans missing. For New York, they've gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. A nice shot by Jordan. And now it's a three-point Knicks lead. After taking some time to find his rhythm, he's been unstoppable since the break. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Evans kicks to O'Quinn. Indiana moving it around. I'll tell you, a terrific read from Corey Joseph. He recognizes the overcommitment of the defense and takes advantage. Neely Kina passes to Jordan. Smith against Joseph. Smith finds Jordan. Hezonia on the wing. Five to shoot. Back to Jordan. Tipped away. Stolen by O'Quinn. The shot by Evans. Nobody around. And the three off target. To the paint. And again, New York turns it over. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Miles Turner, he's checked in for the Pacers. Matthews, he's checked in for New York. Indiana trailing here. Evans dishes to Joseph. And Young kicks to Evans. Right wing, 
Joseph has an open look. Indiana again missing. New York's gone 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. There are certain guys that you identify as the prototypical 3 and D player, and Wesley Matthews is one of those guys. I love that he prides himself on his ability to guard elite wings and the kind of deep range he has, even in critical moments of games. This guy's a big-time guy. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. The first one falls. Well, for Matthews, he does most of his offensive work from outside, but Doris has more to his game than just that. Well, I think the thing that I think of when I think of Wesley Matthews is how hard this guy works. And yes, he started as an offensive perimeter threat, but he's dedicated himself to rounding out his game, and you love that from a veteran. Both free throws good from Matthews. Yeah, and I think Wes Matthews, you've got a guy who's a true leader, someone who's not afraid to speak his mind and let his teammates know what's up. Now here's Evans. The teardrop falls in. Evans has got 23. Boy, what touch. You know, a lot of guys don't have the kind of feel necessary to make the floater. It's Jordan on the wing. O'Quinn defending. Here's Neela Kina. And the shot falls short this time. And it's Evans with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Outside Turner to take the lead. But they get it back. And O'Quinn kicks to Turner. Joseph the pass to Turner. And stolen by Jordan. And a fast break now for New York. Here's Neela Kina. Count the basket. And the Knicks lead by three. Loves to push the pace when the break is on. Neela Kina taking full advantage. On the wing, Evans. Takes it from 10. Back to Turner. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Man, it, this has been fun. I mean, we got two teams dueling down the stretch. Boy, does it feel to you, Greg, like every single shot is going through the bucket? That's how lethal both of these teams have been late in this one. Here's Jordan following the score by Miles Turner. Just five on the clock. Jordan kicks to Neely Kina. The three-pointer no good. For Indiana, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Some changes for Indiana. Bogdanovich comes in for Kyle O'Quinn. And it's Collison in for Corey Joseph. Noah Vonley, he's checked in for the Knicks. Jordan, the pass to Vonley. Inside. Smith kicks to Vonley. Back to Matthews. Six on the shot clock. There's the three. New York, no good that time either. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Turner looking around. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. It is such a treat to have a point guard like Collison. He is so effective orchestrating this offense. Now here's Vonley, covered by Evans. The shot by Vonley, no good. For Indiana, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. It's good. And now it's a three-point pacer lead. Superb in the open court. Picks the right routes to run. Thaddeus Young. Really good decision making. Now here is Smith. Matthews, no one around him. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Pat Donovich wide open. Yes, and a nice assist from Evans. And the Pacers lead by five. 
The ball movement on this run has been time fantastic time and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And now, let's present our Jordan player of the game, Damanis Sabonis. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, during that last break, I heard David Fisdale talking to his team. He got into him pretty hard. He said, we are being way too soft in there. We need some toughness, and I need some defense. No more easy baskets. Pretty strong words, guys. Collison against Smith. Shot clock at five. And for three, Collison. That's tipped. And now the fast break. Matthews with the ball. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And now just a one-point Indiana lead. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Outside Bogdanovich. Passes it to Sabonis. Now here's Evans. Here's the three. It's rebounded by New York. He had a make from downtown in the first half, but no three since then. Here's Thomas. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And the foul goes against Indiana. Well, this guy combines hard work and intelligence. Lance Thomas baits the defender into committing that foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And it's tied up with that one. Lance Thomas comes out of high school, a five-star recruit, goes to Duke. How about undrafted out of that big-time program in 2010? But I love it, guys. Goes to the development league, doesn't give up. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. You're talking about Thomas. Truth is, to play at all in the NBA is a success. Right. It's a very tough league. Most guys have at least one specialty. For, for Thomas, it's more about, okay, I can do a lot of little things well. And you've proven, with good effort and good attitude, doors will open. No one near Smith as he lets it go. New York, no good that time either. Bogdanovich against Thomas. Allison finds Evans. Here's Sabonis. And stolen by Vonley. Here's Matthews. Bullseye. And the Knicks lead by three. You know, you have to like that he's still getting quality touches and delivering now after getting blanked in the first half. Now here's Collison. The pass to Sabonis. To stop the drought, it's rebounded by New York. Smith's got four rebounds now tonight. Kicks it to Jordan. Over in the corner, Matthews. Back to Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Well, Wes Matthews is a terrific passer. He is hitting his guys in all their spots. Pacers trail by five. Timeout time called time the out. Pacers. And Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that huddle. They've got to tighten it up. Here 
And so here is Indiana. Sabonis with the bucket. Sabonis has got 10 points here in the second half. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by New York. And Matthews kicks to Smith. Alvon Lay. Pass to Matthews. Count it. Number five from the four this game. He's now five of 11. Kevin, you have to love the mindset of Matthews. Always wants to score whenever he has the ball in his hands. Evans passes to Collison. And the foul on Dennis Smith Jr. That is his first foul of the game. To the paint. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You got to respect the physicality of Evans. Excellent at drawing contact on his way up. At the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws, good for Tyreek Evans. I mean, he's as close to automatic when he's up at that line, especially when the ball game's a close one. Matthews finds Jordan. Collison against Smith. No good, shot missing. Evans with some nice D. And so Collison will bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Pass to Evans. The shot's good. Collison making the play. And now it's 27 points for Tyreek Evans. That's what this team needs right now. Solid scoring chances. Exactly. This isn't the time to settle for jumpers. If they have a chance to attack the rim, they've got to do it. Well, I'll tell you what. This team trusts in Dennis Smith Jr.'s ability to make big-time shots. On the wing, Evans. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Wesley Matthews picks one up. At the line for your Pacers, Tyreek Evans. Taking two shots. Shooting two, gentlemen. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And the second of two is good. That brings them within two here. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. Smith kicks to Matthews. Defense! 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 107 left here in the fourth quarter. They grab their own miss. New York moving it around. Three on the clock. The fader. Good! Now... That is cold-blooded. What a shot. He had no fear. I love it. Evans against Matthews. They get a hand on it. And he commits the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. And 
and he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And I'm sure he would like to have had all of those, but he's still able to pad the lead. And that's just great work there to get in the shooter's face and then go and corral that backdoor. At the line of next, Dennis Smith. Taking two shots. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. And, and you know, known for that rim-rocking dunking ability, Smith Jr., though, a special talent. This is a guy who wants to keep getting better over time. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. And this is not a time to be patient with the basketball. No, you've got to act quickly here. I mean, look for the quick score and either a fast foul or a steal. No options. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Shooting for New York. Dennis Smith. At the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They're trailing by eight. There's 21 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And obviously, look, they want to finish the game strong, but right now, look at the frustration on their faces. It's very evident, Greg. You can tell they're upset. They've got to calm down and simply play this one possession at a time. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Nick Dermott for three. The rebound by Baker. He kicks it to Moutier. So it's New York picking up the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Wesley, great night for you. How did it all come together? My team's doing a great job of getting me open, uh, and our guards are finding me, and I'm just putting the ball in the basket when I can. You were open and available all night, Wesley. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.